and welcome to Melissa's Art Happenings. I am Melissa and today I tried a tutorial by Super Ray Dizzle on um, how to make these beautiful little bubbles with color pencils. I'm not super adept at color pencils so I decided to do a tutorial to get my feet wet. I will be putting the link for her video in the description, so go ahead and click down there if you guys want to try this video. Um, she's a whole lot better with colored pencils than I am. I'm not even using the right materials, to be honest. I am using watercolor pencils in a very cheap set at that, whereas she's using Prismacolors. So all in all, I'm kind of setting myself up to uh, not have as great of results, but let's just get started, shall we? She used a candle, I used masking tape because, you know, that's what I had. and. Um, we're starting the shading process. I chose yellow. I think I think with this first bubble I tried to do is similar to hers as possible and then I did a few more just to play around with what I might like and what I might not like, you know. Just trying to feel it out. So according to her, the first couple steps were to trace out your circles retrace the bubbles with a white color pencil and then shade in using light colors. And again, I tried to follow hers as closely as possible. I'm using yellow and pink here with my color pencils. I feel like my placement's a little off, but you know, I'm just gonna keep going. There's also a little circle, poorly done circle inside of my circle to figure out highlight placement. And I'm just gonna start with my highlights here in a white colored pencil. And honestly, <laughs> I'm already like feeling less confident as I get going in this. Thing is adding some random streaks throughout the bubble and also some random dots. And the reason I love doing bubbles Okay, so, so this part was difficult for me to follow because she was trying to be helpful in not giving you limits and all that, but honestly, I just felt a really lack of instruction. Random streaks and dots didn't help me. I'm just saying it didn't. By the way, everybody say hi to my beautiful daughter as she enters the camera shot quite a few times. But anyways, oh yeah, random streaks and dots. I tried, I tried, I tried. So this is me actually copying her as much as possible. And the next step, she has us add some color into the highlights so that the highlights are refre reflecting, refracting, reflecting light. And I'm like, okay, I look at her bubble, I look at my bubble, I look at her bubble, I look at my bubble, and it's just not looking as nice in my opinion. So I'm like, okay, she has more streaks. She has more highlights. She has more color. So I'm trying to build up my colors as best as possible to look like hers. And you know, it just kind of is what it is. Again, her colors are going to blend a lot better than mine because she has Prismacolors and I have Artist Loft watercolor pencils. Um, I will be posting what I used and I'll also post Prisma colors down in the description if I could figure all that out. You know, I'm a little uh, technologically disinclined sometimes, so we'll see how this works. Through this whole drawing, I was sitting here wishing, you know, I probably should have played with colored pencils at some point in my life, or I should probably have gotten better colored pencils at some point in my life, but you know, 
this is what I've got. So it just kind of is what it is. I got to the point where I'm just like, you know what? This is about as good as I'm going to be able to get it right now. Um, I didn't get to the final step of the bubbles where I brighten up the highlights yet because uh, I wanted to make more bubbles first. So I decided to make all of these bubbles. I ended up doing three large bubbles and two tiny little small bubbles. And so these ones I did a little bit faster. I played with a little bit more. I kept the basic rules that she um, kind of spelled out for us and then I just kind of went for it. I did a couple things that I regret, like this highlight that I'm doing right here. I don't know, I ended up not liking it as much. You'll see as it pans out how it starts to look. My favorite bubble is the third large bubble that I end up doing. Um, but you know, all in all, I was doing this for my daughter. She loves bubbles and I think she's gonna like it regardless. Also, I would like to say, I mean, as far as tutorials go, it's not too bad. Part of what made it hard to follow is that her tutorial for this video was also a speed drawing. So she's taking a video that took her, I don't know, maybe an hour to complete and she sped it up to make it be done in about eight minutes. So following it, um, I had to keep pausing and rewinding and pausing and rewinding and pausing and rewinding to try to follow along and make something similar to what she's making because I don't work fast. That's just not how I roll. I take my dear sweet time. <sighs> so uh, that made it that made it a little bit more challenging to follow. But I mean, in general, I've gotten a lot of compliments on these bubbles. They're super cute. But um, as, you know, as far as tutorials go, it was it was pretty good. It was just a little hard to follow because of the speed drawing. Also, like the second bubble here, you'll see how prominent that white line is. And I did it that way because she emphasized like retracing with a white Prismacolor. And I forgot that was because she had drawn it in regular pencil first. So I did this one like super white. And then I go end up going back and erasing it back a little bit. Because I'm like, it shouldn't be like outlined. That That's not what real life looks like so you know you live and you learn I also wanted to say happy Thanksgiving everyone, by the way, since it's coming up real soon here. And uh, have fun either sleeping in with your uh, turkey coma or waking up at the butt crack of dawn to do your Black Friday shopping if that's how you roll, because personally I will probably be in bed. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to also let everybody know that I'm going to be doing an art giveaway. I have a baby gorilla drawing that is going to be given away probably towards the middle of December, just before Christmas. So in order to qualify for that, if you wanna enter into the free drawing, you just subscribe to my channel, go to my Instagram, subscribe there also. I will put the handles up right here so you guys can um, stop by there. Just subscribe, comment on this picture on my Instagram and that'll enter you into the drawing so I'll also I'll post the gorilla up again it's probably on my Instagram already but I'll post it up again so you guys can see it um, so we're at the part in the tutorial by the way where she has us emphasize the highlights with white acrylic paint now I do not use acrylic paint guys I'm probably the only person I know that doesn't use acrylic paint 
Um, so I'm doing my best here <laughs> to try to use acrylic paint to emphasize the highlights. What I did like about this step, honestly, though, is I don't think about doing mixed media very often. So I'm like, this is a watercolor pencil or a, this is a watercolor painting. So I'm going to do watercolors for all of it. Or this is a drawing. So I'm going to do drawing for all of it or this, you know, so I, I try to stick to one thing, but honestly, using the acrylic paint really made it pop. It really did. Um, I could have blended it out better. Um, I could have spent more time on that or tried to, uh, thin up the acrylic paint. I didn't, I took it straight out of the tube. So whatever. Sorry guys. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. <laughs> Things I would do differently. That's all I have to say. Things I would do differently, but all in all, this was a great tutorial to follow. I really recommend it. Again, I will put the link down in the description. So I hope you guys have fun with that. And I hope to see you guys on my next video. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so that you can see my next video as it comes up. Have a fantastic holiday, guys.